other than not. Crackers fuming. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Where? Are you sure? It doesn't matter where you go, you've got grab shirts in your Oh, gotcha. Before I start, has anyone got any knocks, any injuries, anything I need to know about? It's like silence, isn't it? Um, right, first point, obviously last week was disappointing, but in some ways I think it's a blessing. Um, this is, I, I've talked all year about the grind and all the hard work that this group has to put in, because there's a lot, of, when we started this season, there was a lot of new faces coming in that we had to gel as a side and build and you know, we've added people as we've gone along. This is a very fucking good side now. Right? We've built and we've earned and we've grafted, right? not just by being a good side, we've got to this point, we fucking deserve to be here because we have worked our fucking bollocks off. And I've spoke to you boys all year about putting in that graft to earn days out like this. This is the day out, right? And now everyone's a bit nervous, everyone's particularly excited. I'm, I don't need to provide you boys any motivation. I know how much this means to everyone in this room. Right. But where we go from now is not focusing on the nerves or the occasion or the opposition. Sit down, come on. I don't, I'm not worried about the occasion. I'm not worried about the opposition, right? And I don't think you lot are either. Right? Two things on that note. Can't take it for fucking granted because they've beaten a lot of sides higher up than them to get here, and it's a final. And you know what finals are like? It's a one-off game where a lot of shit goes out the window. Right? That being said, this is just another day of football on a nice surface where we get to show how fucking good we are. If we're good, it doesn't fucking matter. The rest don't matter. Right? We're not hoping on them to have a bad day. They're hoping we have a bad day. Right? And if we apply ourselves, how I know we fucking can, it's not even a problem, boys. Right? So don't worry about those nerves. Enjoy the occasion. Look at this as, I said this to you last week when we were at the Westside game. This is an occasion to play on a nice pitch and win a game of football. And if you're lucky, you get to pick up a trophy again as well. Right? That's it. If we do what we can do, the rest isn't an issue. So don't worry about staring at the trophy. Don't worry about your fans being here. A lot of people here are going to be here cheering you on. Feed on that. Don't feel like you have to rise to some sort of expectation today. We've set the levels we've set. I've talked to you about setting levels. We set those levels because when we rock up here today, we just meet what we expect of ourselves. They're hoping for the best version of themselves. We're not. We already know how fucking good we are. Right? So I don't need to give you any other motivation. All I need to boy, say to you, and this is the point of this talk, just enjoy the game. Don't worry about the rest of it. Because if you do what I've asked you to do all year and you've done so well, we win. Simple. So don't worry about the occasion. Put the studio away. Don't worry about what you can and can't do in a game. All right? Just enjoy it. Trust your ability. The rest will come. That's it for now. We've set up outside. We've got just under an hour to kick off. All right? Let's give yourself five minutes. Sort out. Kian, have you got a fucking speaker? <laughs> if you don't, I'm going to kill you.
has been really poor, our pass decisions have been really poor, so we panic and just shovel it into areas, and then we're giving them the opportunity to win 50-50s, right, but every time they win one of them, they think they've won the fucking World Cup. This year, every throw in, every free kick, we keep giving away stupid free kicks, we keep making stupid decisions, shuffling it into areas when we don't need to, right, and that's where a lot of frustration is coming from. It's a very, very simple solution. Calm the fuck down. Stop getting on each other's backs, right? Because it just makes the problem 10 times worse because it just feeds itself, right? Stop fucking shouting at each other. We've been in this position so many times before against better teams. I mean, right? If we, we say something, we say don't do this, we do it again, we say don't do it, and we do it again. I know. Five times the same thing But that's thing the happens. fucking point. And you know what you get for it? You get the fact you're one nil down at half time in the final that we should be fucking cruising. Honestly, relax on the ball, boys. Because when we've actually tried to, we've had a couple of very tiny periods where we've struck together five, six passes, and suddenly we're in there third. And if our final ball was a little bit better, we're then we're, we're taking too long. Exactly, taking it's too, too slow. But when we have actually strung together a few passes, we've got into their area. It's not hard to unpick them, boys. 
right? But it's not going to come from shoving the ball into areas because even when we have hit boiling, half the time there's no one within 10 yards of it. He's won every fucking ball as well. And he's taking down a fair share of it against two centre backs that aren't fucking small, lads. Right? But every time we shovel it into these areas, we're getting no joy out of it. Calm down. You've got so much more time than you realise. Right? And if you actually look after your passes, stop. The, the middle of that pitch is fucking bobbly and horrible. Right? So don't play there. Use these wings. It's why I've put him there. Give the ball to the wingers' feet and fullbacks. Fucking join in with them. Right? But then what we do is we make a poor decision, we turn it over, we're running back to our own goal and all they're having to do is just shovel it into fucking areas because we've committed and then made a poor decision and then we create a turnover. Right? And then in those turnovers we give away set pieces and from those set pieces they score. Stop, just stand them up. They're not going to do anything, they're not better than you. They've got one detail, I think the, the, the left winger's alright and the striker just works hard and drops in. Three in the middle of the let me, yeah, let me just add to that. But th that's just to finish what I'm saying. Fucking relax and stop panicking and just shoveling the ball. Because you're giving them opportunities to win stuff. Right, go. I know, where is he? Right. I know, I know you want to get on. That's fine, I don't mind, I'll drop in if, if that's what you want. But mm. what I'm saying to you is, that three that they've got in there, he's picking it up and trying to dictate for him. We stop him, we stop them playing. Then what's happening if they've got the four in there, all they're telling him to do is do the dog work. Get win the first, win the seconds. Our distances are way, way, way off it. Yeah. So when we do get it, like we're leggy because we're just running around. They're screaming for it out wide. By the time we get it, we're fucking blowing out our asses. So what I'm saying is either get tight or it's man for man in there. They're playing 3v3. We have to lock it up. First and second, fucking put a stud in them if you have to. Let them know we're here to play a game of football. At the minute, we're fucking playing fairy football. I'll be honest with you. We're getting it and they're smashing into me, smashing into you, trying to lift us. So we need to get closer. Then when we get when we get into the areas to shoot and score, we can get onto that and worry about that. We're one nil down, we're not out of the game. He's screaming, he's screaming, I'm screaming. It seems like our heads are gone. We need to just relax but relax in a good way, where when we got the ball, there's movement, drop in short sometimes, mix it up. Bro, bro, bro he's, he's gone, bro. he's gone, out to me. He, before before I looked, mate, he's there. Out to you, no, he's there. No, no, it, it's, it? not, it's not that. Bro, every time, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I think you've had the ball about six times, five out of the six times, you've done it. But I've given bro, it back to someone. No, but you don't need to do that. You don't need to feel where's about the Where's the ball then? In behind, he's come, where's, bro, where's there's the ball? Bro, there's people out on the, people out on the wing, or there's, Brad has been there about at least four times, bro, and you haven't given I've it said me. Brad has gone inside, he's dropped in yeah. as the right centre bro, back. I promise what you, you, I promise you, you are taking too long on the ball. Brother, I'm telling you what's going on. The beach is the right centre back. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. He's spinning high, I'm telling you what's going on. No, that's enough, right? I understand what you're saying, I understand what you're saying, right? The point that I'm making it ties into everything, in us taking too long on the ball, or when we are trying to shift it on, we're making poor decisions too quickly, right? Too many times, we're getting into these tight pockets, like Mo says, we're getting into these tight pockets, and you're spinning round on it, you don't know what to do. Just play out and then play out the other side. Make the pitch bigger and make them work. Because the amount of times we're getting into these tight little areas in the right and left hand side, or even in the middle of the pitch, and we're trying to play little winch for think you can't do that in the middle of this pitch, boys. The amount of time you've got two guys who are more than fucking capable as your insurance options to receive a ball and then play it out the other side. Yeah. And when we have done little nice interplays between the right back and the wing back, Rory's cut in a few times and he's tried to find gaps with that ball to make the pitch bigger. Make the pit, you're on a fucking huge pitch. Use the ball and make it as big as possible. That is not going to come from us trying to be too clever or taking too long on it. Right? This isn't me digging out anyone's performance. That's how we're going to win this game. Right? It's not going to come from us just shoveling it into areas. It's going to come from us calming down, moving the ball a bit quicker than we have been. Play with that tempo. Move the ball a bit quicker and use these widths. Rory, the reason I put you there is for you to join in with people like him because you will get forward and you've got legs to get back. Brad, you've got that same license. Join in with Gabs, get around him, because then he'll create space for you. Right? And we you are using the whip for the pitch. And if it's not there, you can lay it off for a Brad, you can lay it out to a cow, and then he'll fucking diag it over that side. Right? Use the size of this pitch. Right? But that's not going to come from us trying to stay in those areas and taking too long in it. The two feed each other. Okay? 
Do that, you will cause problems, you'll create chances, and you'll score goals. Right? This is so easily fixable, boys. So don't get in your own fucking heads about it. Relax, keep the ball moving with a good decent tempo, and use the whips of the pitch. Right? And I'm giving these fullbacks license to get involved. Right? But when we start diddling on it and taking too long, that's when touches become poor, that's when passes get poor, and that's when we suddenly find ourselves running up towards our own goal. Right? That will solve it. That's it. Anyone else want to add? Dog fight now. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Stick to get them. That was what? Run Get out behind no, I'm really frozen. Listen, that. listen, 45 minutes. Yeah, fucking give everything and <laughs> stick together. It's fucking flat in here. What? We're gonna lose one game of football and it and it ain't it ain't what it was at the start. Fucking get get together in this 45 and let's fucking go and let's get back in this game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, I've got to say, this was probably an unlikely Marcus Lipton Cup final, um, but this competition, one thing I think we're very proud of is that you can just, anything can happen on its day and there's just shocks every single round and it's one of the most popular uh, Sunday Cup competitions that is spoken about. Um, got to say, Sellers, you know, you are such a quality team in our league and you're a great set of lads. I know it didn't happen for you today, but please don't let that deter you. You've got a championship still to win. You're going to be in the Premier next year. You're a great set of lads in your own right. I know it wasn't your day today, but please come up and get your runners up. Ready. Two more, I've got two more, I've got two more. 